Good morning, Greater Lake Trove. From the WCATV studio, I'm Zoe Favada alongside Sophia Bulaba. Coming up in today's show, there is an eSports meeting this week. The Environmental Club is asking for your help, and we have an update on our Wildcat sports teams. All this and more on your WCATV news. There will be an eSports meeting on Friday, January 12th at the start of Homeroom. Anyone who signed up previously to attend meetings and remains interested in learning more about the opportunity should check in with their homeroom teacher first and then report to the cafeteria. At the beginning of this year, the cafeteria replaced styrofoam trays with reusable ones, which has prevented tens of thousands of styrofoam trays from ending up in the landfill. Unfortunately, we may not be able to continue this program because of the many of the reusable trays are being lost or stolen. Please help keep the reusable trays in the cafeteria by returning your tray to the dish station or one of the kiosks in the commons area after eating lunch. Junior students are encouraged to invite their parents to attend an informational meeting about the college planning and college application process. The school counseling team will hold this meeting Tuesday, February 6th in the CSC beginning at 6.30. No reservation is required. Junior students will have an opportunity to meet with their school counselor individually prior to scheduling for senior year. Let's get a check on the weather. We go to Gianna Lewis for your three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. Today we have a high of 38 and a low of 29 with cloudy skies. Tomorrow we will have a 75% chance of rain with a high of 51 and a low of 32. Lastly, on Wednesday we will have a high of 49 and a low of 33 with more rain. That's the three-day forecast. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Gianna. Before Christmas break, Capstone students were able to tour the Westmoreland Cleanways Recycling Center, located near Nazar's Market. This nonprofit helps the county recycle everything from tires to paper, TVs to light bulbs, and more. Students were able to operate machines, including a cardboard compactor and a styrofoam melter. Thanks to Natalie Reese for guiding the tour. You can check out the website at westmorelandcleanways.org. IUP is offering a free camp as part of its National Security Agency's Improving and Expanding Cybersecurity Education Grant for the week of June 24th through June 28th. It is designed for middle and high school students and will focus on cybersecurity fundamentals, critical thinking, and oral and written communication skills. To apply, please visit the program website at www.iup.edu slash iupgencyber, then click on the Student Online Application. The application deadline is on February 8th. The American Red Cross is sponsoring an essay and art contest for topics in international humanitarian law. This year's topic is nuclear weapons and armed conflict. The essays and art submissions are due on January 26th. Please see the guidance office for details. We go to Aaron Yolowitz for an update on our Wildcats sports teams. Good morning, Wildcats. On Friday, the boys' basketball team defeated McKeesport by a score of 82-53. to Jaton Williams had 22 points, Ian DeSerb had 16, and Max Butler had 15. Over the weekend, the boys' wrestling team tra traveled to Greensburg-Salem for the county tournament. The Wildcats placed first as a team for the third year in a row, and wrestlers Luke Willishell, Jacob Braun, and Hunter Snyder placed first in their weight classes. Luke received his 100th win with the championship match. Congratulations, Luke. The girls wrestling team will be hosting their first official home match against Burrell High School on Tuesday, January 9th at 6.30 p.m. Come out and support your fellow Lady Wildcats as they make their mark in history. Looking to tonight, the girls varsity basketball team is away taking on Albert Gallatin at 6.30. Finally, the Pep Club has sent out a survey to all students in regards to the upcoming Winter Pep Rally on January 19th. If you are interested in participating in any of the games or dance activities, please fill out the survey by the end of the day, Wednesday, January 10th. That's all for Wildcat Sports. Here's Luke Bulabosh with National Sports. Thanks, Aaron. Good morning, Wildcats. On Saturday, the Steelers won against the Ravens with a score of 17 to 10. With the Jaguars' loss and a Bills' win, the Steelers clinch the seventh seed in the playoffs. They will travel to Buffalo to play the second seed Bills on Sunday. In the NHL, the Penguins lost to the Sabres 3-1 on Saturday. 
The Pens are back in action tonight as they take on the Flyers at 7. That's all for National Sports. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Luke. The sports broadcasting students created Sports Podcasts. Here is a preview of Sports Talk with Brody Rumit and Luke Willowshell. You could dunk now, Ian, can you? I saw some videos you dunking <laughs> on uh, a student Gavin a student Ketchum. of the Gerdy. Gavin Ketchum. <laughs> Gavin, Gavin, Gavin Ketchum. <laughs> you dunk Caught a body on Gavin Ketchum. Uh, kind of, I mean... Cameras won't say it, but Ooh. I did dunk I'm on Max. On you. Whoa, 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 whoa. I blocked okay. on you. I blocked you. I, I I did dunk on you one time. That's what? wild. <laughs> on the side we we tried to get the camera footage. On the side hoop. The side hoop was like nine and a half. This is entertaining. It was not the side hoop. It was the side hoop. No, it was the side hoop. It was not the side hoop. So, I mean, obviously, you've been working out over the summer, but did you just start to dunk? Like, what have you been doing? Yeah, he had no bunnies last year. Yeah, how did you get I mean, there's a video, Darius, he posted on his story one time. It was like, Pictures it was like picture day and Where's I like tried to talk. <laughs> it was really bad. Where is he happening right now? <laughs> but, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, at the university. I think I got like my first dunk in like ninth grade. Yeah, it was like before ninth, ninth grade? grade. Before ninth grade year. I couldn't even. Matches look like he agrees. It was like it was like a rim all. graze, but <laughs> I don't count that a dunk, man. Yeah, yeah. Ain't yeah. A dunk. that's pretty good. When but you can just, start dunking, I dunked last year. You last year. You can check out this podcast and more on the WCA TTV tab on the High Post online. Wondering what's on the menu today? Here's Dalton King with What's Cooking. What's cooking, Latro? Today is Monday, January 8th, and the special today is a spicy chicken sandwich with waffle fries and green beans. Tomorrow's special is a ham and cheese pretzel melt with fries and broccoli. The soup of the day is hearty potato. That's what's cooking. Thanks, and back to you. Thanks, Dalton. Reporters Clay Burkett, Ryan Linhart, Ty Wisniewski, and Brady Cronenwetter took to the halls for today's Kid in the Hall. The name of my team is uh, Three Star Geno. I have Geno Smith in my starting QB, and uh, we ended up uh, six and seven, so we didn't make the playoffs. Dean Noon, uh, guy Aaron Rodgers, Nick Chubb, Jay Jettas. Um, Currently in uh, first right now, and yeah. So the league I'm in is a family league. So I'm the godson because my godfather slash uncle was in the league, and uh, my the record and the uh, the place that we finished. We're not going to talk about it. Okay, we're just not going to talk about it. We had a late season push. We almost made it to the playoffs, but kind of a sore subject. I'll be honest with you. I'm ten and four, and I'm first in the league. Team Chauncey Billups, 10-0, first place. My record, unfortunately, is 3-10, and, and I'm in last place. Not what I'm expecting it to. You know, got good players, but they just ain't, they ain't doing it. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCAT-TV News. Have a great day, Latrobe. Go Wildcats!